A high school in the Philippines is doing its part for the environment. It's the first school in the capital city of Manila to use solar energy. One high school in Manila is going green and educating youth about renewable energy. We tend to inspire the Filipinos on thinking of possible ways of producing carbon uh, emission, on contributing to the uh, reduction of, uh, of uh, greenhouse effect, and also to, to think of, of a possible but uh, a possible solution that might uh, trigger economic development on aspects of uh, renewable energy. Citero Francisco National High School is the first school in metropolitan Manila to use solar energy. The renewable energy program supplements the school's science curriculum. If it's only theory, it will be hard to imagine how it works. But if they see solar energy used in everyday life, they will be more interested. And aside from that, they could come up with more ideas and expand their knowledge. With direct sunlight, the panels can generate up to 8 kilowatts an hour per day, storing them in batteries that can power light bulbs in a three-story building. Students are beginning to appreciate solar power. We're able to help the environment, because if we use the power coming from the regular grid, this uses fuel and this aggravates the warming of the atmosphere. The school partnered with the US-based Foundation for Environmental Education, which helped secure a donation of six solar panels from a Chinese firm. The school also expects its electricity bill to be cut in half. Solar energy is not new in the Philippines but panels are still too costly for home use.